Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Boost Your Biology podcast. Today's discussion will be centered all around vitamin D and sunlight exposure. And so I have a very special guest, Guti. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Lucas. I'm very happy to be here finally with you and get our viewers to, to know uh, about all the benefits about vitamin D and sunlight. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited for this podcast because, um, I mean, as you know, I'm a, I'm a naturopath and we got taught about the importance of all of the different vitamins and minerals in the body. And if we start off with the most important vitamin, which is actually not even a vitamin, it's actually you know a hormone, hormone D or vitamin D, um, maybe did you want to, Guti, let my audience know a little bit about your background. Um, who are you and, and, and what are your main goals? Okay. Uh, yes, Lucas. Uh, my name is Guti. I'm 47 years old. I'm actually an economist. That's what I studied in the university. But I've been working as a photographer and a photography teacher uh, for the last 20 years. And obviously now I consider myself a biohacker. So... Uh, <laughs> It's very interesting because in my background as a photographer, I've been studying light uh, since not only for uh, for taking pictures, but I've also been teaching photography for 20 years. So light has been basically my playground every day. All the books hmm. I'm studying about uh, about light. And now it's interesting because I'm turning the, the light, but now I'm starting to look at light from nature as a, a, a healing, a natural supplement for for our every day it's phenomenal because um you know you'd never think that like you'd be so focused on like photography and then all of a sudden now your your interest is in like literally like natural light you probably looked into like the importance of vitamin d with with vitamin d yourself over mm -hmm. the years i mean had you done blood tests and you've seen that your vitamin d was was low or what was the, the situation there well, uh, basically, uh, the story behind me is that I always known as basically everybody, when you think about sunlight, people automatically think about vitamin D, but you don't always realize how important it is for your health, or actually you don't, uh, most people don't actually take tests to see what their, their levels are. Even thought uh, more than 50% of the world's population is deficient in vitamin D, uh, but nobody uh, considers. In my case, basically, my story is that three years ago, I had a, a divorce and it was a very difficult time. And back then, since I, I, I was doing bad, the doctors uh, did test a blood test and I got to be very low in vitamin D. And also I got to be very low in testosterone. So he said that they were going to put me on uh, on TRT, on testosterone replacement therapy, and also on vitamin D because that will help also for my depression because I was also medicated for depression uh, back then. And, I, and, and it did good. The vitamin D uh, raised my levels basically in around three weeks. I was uh, initially around 30 nanograms per milliliter, even thought I live in in El Salvador, which actually we have a lot of sunlight, but as you know, people nowadays spend too much time indoors, but I got my levels uh, to a healthy 80 because it's different the minimum do, uh, required uh, level than actually the a great level. So uh, that was a very interesting time, but I didn't like the idea of having to, to be medicated for for the rest of my life, especially with the with the TRT, because when you get there, it's like, okay, now you're going to, and we're going to get your levels from t 280. That was where, where my levels were initially. They got me to 650, so I was feeling great, but uh, I didn't like the idea of having to be medicated for the rest of my life. So that's when I started studying and researching how could I, uh, improve my levels naturally and then uh, to my surprise sunlight always came number one so get sunlight and not just vitamin d but get sunlight and i could also uh, raise my my testosterone level so i start taking sun baths in my backyard and i stopped uh, taking the trt and then suddenly 
I got my levels back to the optimum level. And actually, sunlight all, also helped me with my depression. So sunlight was my, my cure. This is a, an important discussion because I think there's a really important um, delineation between like the differences between vitamin D in supplemental form mm -hmm. versus getting vitamin D through the sun, hitting the skin and synthesizing vitamin D. Yes. Did you want to sort of talk about, because there's a, there are no dietary, there's, we don't find enough vitamin D in food. We find a very, very small amount in eggs and, and fish. But yeah, yes. it's impossible to get enough vitamin D. So how did that eventuate into the development of your incredible, incredible device that you've released onto the market, the Mato Lux? Talk us through mm -hmm. how you got interested in, in that. Okay. Okay. So answering your question, first of all, it's not exactly the same getting vitamin D uh, through supplements than actually getting it to light. For example, there are some studies that showed that, for example, if you take a uh, oral vitamin D, uh, basically, and you stop taking it in about one and one and a half months, your levels drop very fast. But when you actually take the sun, uh, even though it's supposed to chemically be the same, but it lasts up, up to three times longer natural uh, vitamin D produced by the body. And also there are so many people nowadays that have gastrointestinal uh, problems that actually even if you take the pills, your vitamin uh, D levels uh, won't get up. But if you take the sun as we natural were <laughs> evolutionary made, it's quite different because uh, you take light and basically your skin utilizes a form of cholesterol to produce the pre-vitamin D that then your body will be able to use. So it's uh, very different. And also you mentioned that uh, how do we get vitamin D through, through food and the levels you get in food are almost impossible to get enough vitamin D. So actually when you're uh, talking about vitamin D, you should be talking either of getting it from the sun or getting it in supplements. Until now that uh, we have developed this lamp that it's basically an alternative so you could get the benefits of taking the sun and, and raise your vitamin D levels naturally and also some other benefits because the same frequencies of UBB that your skin uses to produce uh, vitamin D, your body also uses to produce serotonin and testosterone. Mm. So it's very interesting when you get light, you get m a lot more benefits than only vitamin D. This is an important um, explanation here. You've done a great job at explaining that, but it, it's very important to understand for my audience listening, you're saying UVB is what helps to synthesize the vitamin D in the body. But does that mean yes. that UV, does that mean that the UVA, it doesn't, it doesn't help with the vitamin D, but is it helpful for any other functions in the body? Yes, uh, one of the very interesting thing is, for example, in the case of vitamin D, uh, was the first uh, benefit discover of taking sunlight. So if people think about sunlight, they automatically think about vitamin D. But for example, uh, 30 years ago, and basically by mistake, uh, NASA discovered that the other portion of the sunlight spectrum called a uh, near infrared light was actually helping with many metabolic functions and the mitochondria. So they were like, okay, so it's not just the UVB that gives benefit, but also the near infrared uh, spectrum. And for example, in our lamp, we have included not just the UVB, but the near infrared spectrum because it works synergistically with UVB to give more benefits. And in the case of UVA, for example, for many decades, people were afraid of UVA but since now new studies are coming, also, for example, UVA can help you with nitric oxide production. That is very important, for example, or to get in your, um, your, um, uh, your, uh, your pressure, your blood pressure on, on level and also to help boost your metabolism. So basically sunlight, it's not just one little uh, part that is helpful for us, but uh, basically the whole spectrum. Great stuff. And in terms of, because a lot of my audience, they've heard me talk about the importance of um, 
you know, vitamin D. And we've also spoken about in the past, the spurty vitamin D lamp. Mm -hmm. Now, um, did you want to sort of, uh, you've probably looked into their technology. Did you want to yes. explain their technology in detail to my audience? Oh, yes. Well, uh, basically, Spurdy have been making a uh, lamp for around 90 years. So they're being a, a, a very long in the business. They started uh, working with uh, one type of lamp uh, that basically used quartz and mercury. And now they're basically using tube lamps. And they have uh, proven uh, through studies that their lamps work to raise vitamin D. So, yes, they also work. But basically, uh, I think that what we have improved with our technology, uh, we did a lot of research on their lamps and we studied how to make them better. And one of them is, for example, regarding vitamin D, even thought uh, for the production of, uh, of vitamin D. Uh, the spurty lamp uses a bigger frequency. What actually makes your body produce vitamin D is a very short wavelength. So they claim that the, their lamps do from 280 nanometers to 400. That's basically UVA plus UVB. Since we wanted people to take the benefits of getting vitamin D with the least exposure possible, we only choose the 295 nanometer a spectrum so basically all of the light that this machine gives you is dedicated for the production of vitamin d and that's one of the benefits and also for example there are a lot of biohackers that used to recommend when you use the spurty like okay use the spurty but at the same time you should have a big panel with a uh, red light and near infrared therapy because that's the way it works in nature so in the case of a lamp you don't have to do that because you can use it either as a red light therapy device or also you can use it as a sun bath device in which you receive both the the special spectrum for vitamin D, and also you get four different wavelengths of red and near infrared light therapy. Uh, so basically, we we took what they were doing, and then we we improve it as much as possible to to get uh, the most benefits possible in the most natural way. Because, for example, in nature, you never receive uh, the UVB alone; it's always together with the near infrared light, and that's also what helps your body don't get burned. And it helps with absorption. So that's basically some of the difference, but we have many more differences. This is, uh, yeah, you've done a good job there at breaking that down because it can be it can be very confusing for a consumer to understand the mm -hmm. like how the technology works when it comes to like tanning or skin yes. tanning effect. Mm -hmm. um, what actually is it the UVB that does most of the tanning, or what 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 happens there? Well, in the case of tanning, it's actually a work that uh, that takes into consideration both the UVB and the UVA. For example, uh, our machine only uses UVB, and that actually helps your body produce more melanin. Melanin yeah. is the pigment in your skin that actually protects you from getting sunburn. So if the darker your skin is, the more melanin you have. But... Uh, that's a type of melanin that that is not oxidized. It's not dark. So it's actually then UVA what gets the melanin to its dark color. So when you're getting a sun bath, it's the work of both UVB and UVA. And that's the natural way of getting your skin protected so you could take more, more sunlight. So this machine specifically won't uh, tan your skin because it's just UVB. Yeah, that's incredible, incredible stuff. And just for reference, for those listening in, I will make sure to leave a link to the Mito Lux vitamin, the vitamin D lamp that he's developed. Um, they will be linked in the podcast show notes. So make sure you you do check that out if you do want to actually purchase one. Um, I'm leaving that linked in the podcast show notes. It's important um, for your reference. But um, going back to the technology, Guti, uh, if we have a look mm -hmm. at the like the actual Mito Lux, the lamp itself. Um, yes. what are the suggested, yeah, talk, talk us through the suggested usage, like how, how frequent should they be using it per day and things like that? Okay. Oh yes. Uh, basically this machine, as I told you, is both, uh, vitamin D, testosterone, serotonin lamp, and it's also a red light therapy device. So for example, if you want to use our lamp, which has actually four wavelengths, and you can use it, for example, for five to 10 minutes on your face if you want to improve 
the collagen, if you want to improve the wrinkles, if you want to improve the texture. For uh, Also, we have been one of the first companies to start using the 590 nanometer, which is actually a, an amber lamp, a, an amber color. And it was very interesting because every day you, there are more studies supporting what we have been doing. And the good thing about 590, and there are many stu studies that prove this, is that it helps with the damage of photoaging. So people that have been in the sun for many decades, uh, this 590 helps with photoaging. But there was another study just recently that proves that 590 is actually the best wavelength in the red, amber, near infrared spectrum to get your nitric oxide. So one of the pathways that the 590 uh, uses is that it first increases the nitric oxide that increases circulation. So you get more nutrients to your skin and then it gets improved. So it's very interesting. And regarding for the usage for vitamin D, uh, we recommend that you use the lamp, uh, depending on your levels, around four times a week. So, for example, with somebody in, in the case of my skin color, that would be the P3 that lasts uh, five minutes. So if you use it on your chest or on your back uh, four times a day, that will not only help you maintain your vitamin D levels, but actually get them up. So you can either use it as a red light therapy device or you can use it as a vitamin d sun lamp plus near infrared this is uh yeah ma makes a lot of sense and i think um the main the main benefit we're seeing is that the fact that you guys have considered not just the uvb but you're also you know factoring in the other spectrums of light that i think a lot of people don't understand that well um and the mm -hmm. fact that you know you only recommend using a very short period of time um you know Three, three to four times a week. Um, have you seen any blood tests results before and after uh, treatment? Like you've seen their vitamin D score go up by a certain percentage at all? Yeah, yes, we have actually. Today, I was uh, talking with a with a, a professor of a university in Spain, which has made a vitamin uh, D book. Uh, actually. He, in my opinion, the best book on vitamin D I have read, uh, it's in Spanish, and we're talking about do clinical trials so we can actually show that it works. But in the case, we have also done tests with friends and family, and we have seen cases, for example, with my mother, she was in the 20 nanograms per deciliter, and we got her to 70 in around two months. So you can uh, get very good levels naturally, and also that's one of the best benefits about uh, using our lamp. For example, there have been many cases of people that uh, start taking vitamin D and then they get an overdose. Uh, in the case of natural sunlight or in the case of using our machine, you can never get an overdose because your body knows what's the exact uh, ideal number that it, it should be around 60 to 90. And when your body gets to that number, it shuts off the production of vitamin D and it actually starts producing some other uh, nutrients for your body that are similar to vitamin D that also have a lot of antioxidant properties. So yes, we have seen the results in people we have been close to our family and friends, but also are planning to do some clinical trials to, to just uh, show that, that it works uh, by a trusted university. Yeah, that's incredible. I think um, the main the main point here is that you know you've seen some actual data, objective data using the blood test analysis because you know a lot of people they want to know like they want to know what what's going to happen if I use the the Mito Lux your particular lamp if they use it for let's say eight to twelve weeks for a period of time what can they mm -hmm. expect in terms of their vitamin D score so I think. It's important that you've outlined that the fact that you've seen data, you've seen clinical, like not clinical, but I guess like anecdotal evidence where somebody has actually noticed an improvement in their vitamin D. And I guess mm -hmm. um, the main, the main, you know, we're, we're talking about a vitamin that, and just for reference for my listeners, you know, this vitamin is absolutely crucial for so many different pathways in the body. We're looking at it's important for immune health. It's crucial for bone health. 
Um, it's crucial for so many, even, you know, hormones. Um, so I definitely think that this is a, a vitamin that needs to be checked. I recommend usually twice per year. So yes. usually every six months. Is that sort of what you, you know, suggest as well? Yes, what I will recommend is actually to all the viewers or of your podcast is to go and get tested today because I have, as you have said, this is the most important vitamin of all. It's so important that actually uh, your body makes it when you have the right conditions of sun exposure. So get tested today. And usually the test will tell you that if you're uh, below 30, the, the 30 nanogram range, you're doing bad. And if you're above the 30, you're doing good. But that's just, uh, for example, when they develop these numbers, back then it was understood that vitamin D only worked for the improving your calcium and your bones, your the calcium absorption. But now it's understood that vitamin D works in more than uh, 300 different chemical reactions in your body. So if you have, for ex if you're overweight, vitamin D can help. If you have depression, vitamin D can help. Also, it helps uh, lower the risk of more than 12 types of cancer. So uh, it, seem, it is the most important vitamin to get your immune system and, and so on. So what I will recommend is to get tested today and try to get your levels from the, around the 60 to the 90 nanogram level. That's what's considered optimal and in the case of the people that buy our lamp we would recommend for example to get tested the first day you're using it and then take another test after two months that way you can see if your levels are on the optimal level and then you can decide if you don't need to use it four times a week but you could go and just use it twice or you can use it if you're very very bad you can actually use it for example twice a day once in your chest and once in your back, and that will get your your levels a, a lot faster. So that's what I would recommend. And the only way you decide the the best amount is by taking tests. So take the test, and that's very important. Also, you mentioned, I mean, you just briefly mentioned the chest area and the back of the body being, you know, good body parts to, to actually use the device and shine it on. Um, I mean, you've seen me talk about the benefits of um, like brief sunlight exposure to the to the testes, to the to to, to the yes. balls. Like, for to, have you um, looked into that? Like, thought about that as part of the you know the, the, the Mito Lux at all? Yes. Well, as I said uh, earlier in the program, one, uh, the two reasons I started to get sunlight was because I needed to raise my vitamin D levels, and I needed to raise my testosterone for example in the case of the testosterone uh, sunlight it's been proven for example during winter testosterone levels go down to for the male population and during summer they naturally go up and basically this happens as far as, as science knows uh, now by three different pathways uh, one pathway would be vitamin d if you get more vitamin d your uh, testosterone levels naturally raise but also, as I told you, the skin is always giving us surprises and its interaction with sunlight. When you get UVB on your skin, there's a protein called P53 that gives signal to your brain and then it sends the signal to your testicles to actually produce more testosterone. So if you get, for example, exposure on your chest and on your back, you will get benefits, but if you also get uh, exposure on your testicles, your testosterone levels will go higher. So uh, that's what actually has happened. For example, if you go back 5,000 or 10,000 years, most people were just basically naked or most of their body exposure to sunlight. And nowadays, the reality is that we spend uh, just 8% of our time outdoors and when people are outdoors, basically they're covered with sunscreen and with clothes. So you don't get the benefits of, of sunlight. And the third pathway to get more testosterone production is through the near infrared. Because near infrared basically gives more energy to all of the mitochondria in your body. And that light even penetrates up to two inches deep. So when, for example, you could use this machine as I have 
to give a light to your chest and to your testicles, the near infrared will, will help with the Leipzig cells that are the actual cells that produce testosterone. So uh, there's different pathways. And one of the best uses of this lamp for me is not just for the vitamin D, but for the testosterone. Yeah, this is a, a highly desired area of, of health optimization that I know a lot of my audience is interested in, which is, you know, a lot of them are very focused on testosterone optimization. That's because, you know, 80 to 90% of my audience are men that listen to my, to my content. So I think um, the main takeaway there is that vitamin D levels should definitely be in the upper end of the reference range, like mm -hmm. you said, 60 to 90 um, it depends upon the 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 units that they measure. Sometimes yes. it's a different reference range, but you're right. It needs to mm -hmm. be in the upper end of the of the reference range. And you know, if it is low, then your your testosterone levels will will be compromised. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, vitamin D works with so many different pathways in the body that once you know it's important, so you basically want to get it higher. For example. In my case, since I've been using the machine, and some days I do natural sun baths, the other days I, I use the machine, is that I've been uh, the healthiest in my life for the last year, and I have lots of energy. So I'm not just telling people, like, go buy my lamp, but if you actually have the time, you actually have the place to take natural sun baths, uh, you should be doing it. And if you live in a country where uh, the winter doesn't help, or is it... Uh, too cloudy, then our sun lamp will basically be a great option to get the benefits of sunlight. What about in terms of um, measuring the amount of vitamin D? I know last time we spoke, you said you had a, um, mm -hmm. a device that could measure the you know vitamin D output or the amount of mm -hmm. vitamin D that's being generated. Did you want to share with my listeners that that process? Yes, uh, well, basically, uh, one thing I want to tell the audience, not everybody produces the same amount of vitamin D in the same conditions. For example, if you want your body to be the most optimal for, for producing vitamin D, you should also be consuming magnesium, and that's uh, very important. But in regards uh, to natural uh, vitamin D production, uh, when you're younger, for example, if you're 20 years older, your skin is thicker. So uh, you can produce more vitamin D than when you're 40 or more vitamin D than when you're 60. And that's one of the reasons that uh, you have uh, more problems with older people having vitamin D deficiencies than actually uh, younger people. Also, one other consideration is your fat level. If you're very uh, thin, for example, you can produce more vitamin D than if you're overweight. If you're overweight, for example, as you know, vitamin D is not a, actually a vitamin, but a hormone, a fat soluble hormone. So that will get stored in your fat cells. So if you're overweight, uh, if you get more vitamin D, that will also uh, help uh, with you losing weight and boosting your metabolism. Uh, so uh, everybody produces different amounts of vitamin D. And the machine that I showed you last time, uh, this is from a company uh, in the United States called Solar Meter. This is the model uh, 6.4. We have uh, been using this model to, to basically develop and test our, our lamps. And basically uh, what it, uh, you pointed in the direction of light, and it tells you a theoretical value of how much uh, vitamin D someone would produce with a 10% uh, body exposure. For uh, That's usually considered uh, face and arms, that's 10%. So uh, just one reference to show people how powerful our unit is. In If you go, uh, well, we were in, in Miami a couple of weeks ago uh, for a Biohacker Expo, and we wanted to test on a sunny day in Miami. And this gave us a value, I remember, of around uh, 50. So that would mean that you could produce uh, 50 IUs of vitamin D if we're, you were living in Miami and clothed. But actually, for example, if you lay down, that would be five times more. But when you compare the values to our machine, our machine gives us a value of 500. So that would be actually... 10 times stronger, the, the, the amount of vitamin D that you could get with our lamp, 
that you could actually get if you're going for a walk on a on a on a very uh, sunny day in Miami. So that's uh, very interesting because you could get a lot of vitamin D production in very little time, and this is the 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 instrument to measure it. And we're actually going to start also offering the instrument in in our web page, and also we're going to start offering vitamin D tests. So if people want to learn more the, we also have a lot of material in our page this is good because again there's going to be a number of people that um they're probably familiar with there's an app an application on your phone um called d minder are mm, you familiar yes, with this yes. yeah so the yes, d minder it. it calculates your longitude and latitude so where you are on, on positioned on the earth and Mm -hmm. um, it, it gets the weather data and it calculates roughly how many minutes you should be outside for, right? Mm -hmm. Like roughly and how much vitamin D you synthesize, which is, which is good. It's a good starting point. If anyone wants to look into that, they can check that out. D minder, mm -hmm. D minder app. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. but this is definitely like in terms of a, a general energy and overall health and well-being, there are many different different benefits in terms of the feedback so far from people who have used the, your lamp, your Mato Lux, um, have mm -hmm. they noticed any other changes, improvements in energy, like skin, skin complexion, things like that? Well, usually the, the easiest uh, result that people notice, uh, because, uh, you can never know how much vitamin D you have only uh, unless you take the test. So they have noticed, uh, most people in around a, a month, they notice a big improvement in their skin quality. For example, in my case, you can look at my skin and I'm 47 years old. And usually people uh, believe that I'm a lot younger. And also my brother, which has also helped me design this product, his, the change in his skin is just amazing. So uh, the wavelengths we're using for this device it would be considered a beauty device because it will really help people improve their skin. And regarding to the vitamin D, what people usually uh, feel the most immediately is a raise in their energy. And also uh, people uh, tell that they sleep better. So that's the most noticeable improvement that people that had been using our lamp uh, says without actually taking a vitamin D, even thought we encouraged that, is that they have a better energy during the day and also better sleep. So, uh, and there's many studies that prove that if you have a vitamin D deficiency, you can also be having problems with depression and also we need insomnia. And when you get your vitamin D levels to the right number, that stops. So more energy and better sleep is one of the effects that people give us that they start feeling the sooner. What about in terms of um, potential side effects or warnings that you have for your Mitolux? Um, mm -hmm. Did you want to share like where people should be careful in terms of using it? Well, uh, basically what our uh, lamps are doing is trying to replicate sunlight. So, for example, with the four different wavelengths of near infrared, we uh, for near infrared basically there's no contraindications, and in the case, for example, of uh, of UVB, basically what you should do is the same as with the sun, you should start slowly. For example, when people uh, get our product and open the the page, basically we recommend they start on a very uh, slow power because it's better to know that you could get more than actually have too much. And also that's one of the most innovative things we have done with our machine. For example, not everybody has uh, an instrument like this. So when you go outside on the sun, you're always guessing, will I get burned today? Or today the sun is not that much. For example, it's very different. The UV you get in summer, in winter, or what you will get near the equator of up north. So you're always guessing in the case of your of our machine, we have uh, made the table that th that shows the ideal numbers of, of the exposure you should get. So basically it's, you're getting the right dose every time. So, so you wouldn't get any problems burning. 
and also one of the innovations that we have in our machine. Since uh, when we designed this lamp, we we went to Amazon and we saw the opinions of the people about the Spurdy machine. There were some people that said that they got burned, and it's not that was not Spurdy fault. But people are not experts always with the instrument, so maybe some of them got too close. So, so that's when we said, so how could we make people get the right distance? At the beginning, we were uh, trying to decide if we included actually a roller, so you stand uh, 15 inches apart. But now the, I got the idea to add a distance sensor, uh, basically the same sensors that drones use so they don't crash. Uh, we added one here, so basically it's designed for people to 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 be around 15 inches. If you get closer, the unit will emit a sound, and basically uh -huh. it will pause the UVB. So you always get the exact and the perfect amount of UVB exposure to get your uh, vitamin D levels where they need to be, but you don't get any burn. So uh, that's, that's so the so clever it's so clever it's such a smart design because um it's just true innovation like you, you're seeing where the spurty vitamin d lamp is falling short the issue with mm -hmm. that now now you've created that technology to enable it to stop emitting to protect the consumer protecting the, mm -hmm. the consumer which is great phenomenal yes also the spurty is fixed angle and with this you can get the the best angle you want. And also one problem with the Spurdy is that it's very big. It's basically 14 pounds. So it's not easy to move around the house or it's not easy to store or it's not easy to travel with. And this one is basically a 2.5 pounds because it's made of, of aluminum. So this is very light. And also this is more powerful than the Spurdy because uh, around four to five times stronger than the Spurdy. Because since we only use the wavelength that produces vitamin D, uh, the same amount of energy produces better results. So yeah, no, it's incredible, incredible stuff. I think it's definitely a major, a major upgrade from from the Spurdy vitamin D lamp compared to, you know, even even there are some other ones out there that are you know red light devices. But the fact that this can not only help with you know skin health but also increase vitamin d minimize the chances of getting damaged like burnt mm -hmm. um you know it's, it's really truly is innovation in terms of um what about any other research or things that you wanted to discuss or mention around um you know the importance of vitamin d perhaps or maybe even some other things that my audience might be interested in well uh, as I said, uh, the design of this lamp has been uh, made with many scientific studies. We have not been the ones making the studies, but that's the beauty of technology nowadays, that you could go to Google and you could search for different scientific studies and you get lots of information. So basically, the data is there. The information is there, but people are, have not used uh, until now all that information to, to make a device uh, like this. So there's a lot of research that proves it. For example, as, as I was telling, the 590 nanometer has just been proven to produce a nitric oxide. And I didn't know that one week ago. So this lamp has the 590, that's the amber, the 630, that is uh, uh, red. And those will basically help with skin issues. But also we have the 830 and the 850 nanometer that are uh, deeper penetrating because they're near infrared and they will help with many different issues, not just uh, only for the skin, but actually they will help even, for example, if you have uh, arthritis, you could put your hand near the unit or you can use it on your knees and that will help arthritis through the same pathway. That's basically giving your mitochondria more energy uh, your body produces more ATP, and the more ATP that your body produces, basically the younger you are. That's uh, <laughs> why when you're born, your body is a very efficient machine producing ATP, and when you start getting old, uh, that lowers, even more in people with diabetes or metabolic syndrome. So when you start getting the red light therapy, basically all of your cells just start working better. And I believe that in a few years, uh, people will not only start talking about vitamin D deficiency, 
but actually a near infrared light deficiency because <laughs> even though the near infrared doesn't produce a vitamin, now it's, it's very well understood that actually we evolve uh, taking the benefits of having our body exposed early in the morning or late at, uh, at, uh, at the evening the near infrared so uh, you'll hear a lot about that about near infrared deficiency because it's actually needed for uh, for your health i wonder if um near infrared has any effect on the circadian rhythm or some other aspect in from it from a, if you look at the research on near infrared light mm -hmm. um, what what is most of the research focused on like what are they focus what are the areas they really focus in on well, in the case of near infrared, the research is very big. There are more than 5,000 different papers uh, nowadays regarding near infrared. And for example, um, most of them are on, on, for example, how it helps with collagen, how it helps with cartilage, how it helps, for example, wounds heal faster. And it really, really, really helps. For example, in my case, I've seen many unexpected benefits about using red light. I had a, an, 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 a nose surgery around five years ago because I had breathing problems and that left me inside a little scarf. But it was basically, uh, it was hard. And since I started using the red light therapy, the scarf, the inside scarf, basically has reduced it in around 90% and basically now it's non-existent. And I didn't expect this. So it's very amazing that the light actually penetrates your skin and it's doing the healing inside. And also one unexpected benefit that I didn't know back then. Now uh, there are some companies that are actually making a specific products for that. Is that my digestion in, uh, improved a lot when I use the, the near infrared. And now they have understood that when you put near infrared, uh, close to your abdomen, the light penetrates uh, to your colon and basically it helps with all the beneficial bacteria inside. So you will even get uh, bowel and digestive benefits of using uh, near infrared. So the research is amazing also for eyesight metabolism. So there's a lot of research. But in regards to the circadian rhythm you mentioned, uh, basically, what triggers the circadian rhythm uh, is more around the UVA I thought than so. the near infrared. That's what I. That's what I thought when I asked the question. I'm like, hang on a second. I think the most important thing for circadian rhythm is not the near infrared light. It's probably the UVA. And yes. you know, you, yeah, you yes. Basically, that. they have found that there are uh, basically specialized uh, light sensor cells in your eyes. And that's why, for example, if you want to take the benefits of, of, of light, of natural sunlight, don't wear your glasses because actually there's a function when light enters your eye and not just the visible part, but actually the UVA that sends a trigger to the super charismatic nucleus in your brain. And basically that regulates your circadian rhythm. And those are around the 380 nanometer in the UVA spectrum. And I believe also in the 405 that's crossing the line between uh, violet light and ultraviolet light. So uh, basically for the circadian rhythm is more towards the UVA light of the spectrum. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, you've done a really good job at um, articulating and, and explaining the importance of, you know, all the different aspects of light. Um, beyond just that UVB, which a lot of people are focusing in on, um, mm -hmm. what what is the future goal, you know, for yourself and your company, Mito Lux? Like, what are you guys hoping to achieve? Uh, well, uh, our first goal of all is to help people around the world improve their health, uh, mostly through the near infrared, which I believe is essential and also their vitamin D levels. For example, it's amazing, even in my country that we have sunlight 80% of the year. Now that I actually made family and friends test for their vitamin D levels, their levels are very low. And even it surprised me that in Qatar 
and Saudi Arabia, it has one of the high uh, of the highest incidence of vitamin D deficiency. So one of our first goals is to uh, make people conscious of the importance of having uh, good vitamin D levels and taking sunshine. So that's why we designed our, our, our lamp, because uh, as I know, uh, I live in Virginia many years ago and the weather in in winter, it was very difficult. So even even if you take the, all of the sunlight you can in summer, when you reach December, January, your vitamin uh, D levels were, will be so low that will, you, you will have a higher probability of getting the flu or not being in optimal health. So that's uh, what we believe with this machine and with future versions of our machine. Basically, we want to mimic the most closely possible uh, natural sunlight. So we will also make a, a, a future version that will also have UVA if you want to get the, the benefits of, of UVA and also visible light because there's a lot of research, for example, on the benefits of green light <laughs> and also <laughs> blue light. People uh, talk about it like it's very bad. And in the morning, it's actually great. Uh, blue yeah. light, when it's uh, combined with near infrared, the problem with blue light is when you have it at the wrong times of the day or if you have it in excess without the near infrared. But if you have them together, it could also be very important for skin issues like acne. So that's what we will be developing, basically solutions for health through the use of natural light and our machines. Incredible, incredible stuff. I'll make sure to... Um... Well, you know, I'll make sure to leave that a link to the to your website in the podcast show notes. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I really, I really am excited to see the future of Mitolux, and I believe is this the was this one of the first first podcasts, right? That you've that you featured yes, on. Yes, this is this is my first podcast. So thank you very much. Wow, you've done a you've done a fan, honestly fantastic job at uh, explaining everything in detail, and and I think my audience is really going to you know, benefit and learn a lot from this particular podcast. So just a reminder, again, if you guys want to check out the Mitolux lamp, it will be linked in the podcast show notes. But otherwise, Guti, thank you so much for showing up today and, and coming on the podcast. Oh, thank you very much. Also for your audience, if you're interested in getting the machine, we already have worldwide delivery. Uh, the, the shipping is free if you live in the United States or Canada. Then it's a small fee if you live anything, anywhere else in the world. And also, if you want to learn more, please visit our blog because we have right now more than, than 50 articles and we'll be posting more each week where you can learn about all the benefits of the UBB, of vitamin D, of near infrared. So uh, knowledge is power and I encourage people to not uh, believe what you have been told about sunlight, that it's bad. It's not logic that we are the only animals in the world that 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 don't tolerate sun like a, 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 all other organisms. So you need to read and take uh, take your own decisions. Incredible, incredible. Well, thank you again, Guti, and thanks everyone for listening in. Be sure to leave a five star review for this podcast if you did enjoy the podcast. And uh, yes, thanks so much, Guti, for coming on the show.